Hello everyone. Today we are learning about the journey a book takes to become a library book. So the first thing that happens is a person that works for a shipping company will knock on our library door and drop us off one box or sometimes two or three boxes of books. Drew then opens the boxes and makes sure everything is in there. Drew does this by taking out each and every book and checking it off a list of all the books that are supposed to be in there. You can see that there are a lot of books to go through and check off. There were so many books that we actually had to speed up this footage. You can also see that there are many different types of books. Inside the boxes of books, there could be adult books, picture books, chapter books, and just like that, Drew is finished unpacking the books. These are what the books look like when they come out of the box. Books of every shape, size, and color. If you were a book on this shelf, which one would you be? After the books are put onto the cart, Drew sits down at his desk and opens up a program on his computer that will help him put the book into the digital catalog. A catalog is a list of all the books that we have in our library. So he first scans in the barcode on the back of the book, which is called an ISBN, which is an International Standard Book Number. This is to see if any other libraries in Simcoe County have already put this book into their catalogs. If they have, Drew can simply add Wasega Beach onto that list and all of the hard work is done for him. All he has to do is put a Wasega Beach Public Library barcode on the front of the book, scan the barcode, which will then attach it to the books in our catalog. Sometimes this process takes so long that days change and so does Drew's sweater. So Drew then creates stickers that go on the spine of the book. The stickers are there so that we can put them back in the same place every time they come back to the library. And so that you can find the books easily. And these are the books with the stickers on them. Just like the originals, they still come in every shape, size, and color. Some stickers are colorful, others are black and white, but all of them have the last letters of the author's last name. Now it's time for Drew to make the books look nice and last a long time. We call this job processing. Drew first takes the dust jacket off the book and makes it as flat as possible. He then takes out a roll of plastic called mylar that he will soon cover the book in. He measures out the size of the dust jacket to make sure that it fits inside the mylar. He then goes into his drawer and takes out all the things he needs. Scissors, a date stamp, a stamp pad, and a Wasega Beach Public Library stamp. Drew cuts the mylar a little bigger than the dust jacket. Now, this is where all the hard work comes in. First, Drew opens up the mylar sheet so that the plastic is towards the table and fits the dust jacket inside. Everything must be tight and neat. When Drew is sure that he has the dust jacket right at the top, he starts taping down the mylar. He then folds the bottom half and tapes that as well. 
Depending on how big or how small the book is, there might be some extra mylar on the bottom of the dust jacket. To hide this, Drew folds and tapes the excess mylar to the back of the dust jacket. After the dust jacket has been put in the mylar, Drew brings the book in and tries on the mylar dust jacket to make sure it fits around the book. He also makes sure that the book and the dust jacket are the same way. There have been many times where Drew has put the book on the shelf without realizing that all the words are upside down. Once Drew is very sure that everything looks okay, he tapes down the dust jacket. He tapes down the top first, and then switches and tapes the bottom. It is now time for Drew to make sure people know where the book is from. He stamps the Wasega Beach Public Library stamp onto the top of the book, and then, so we know when the book came into our library, Drew also stamps the month and year on top. And just like that, the book is ready to go out into the library and into your hands. Thank you very much and have a great day.